a paper boat moving under the power of sound. Researchers have demonstrated a simple method to create complex ultrasound fields in three dimensions, also known as acoustic holograms. These are inaudible to the human ear, but can be used to pinpoint and transmit energy to move an object. Sound waves carry energy and probably the simplest analogy is that if you stand in front of a speaker at a rock concert, then you will feel the pressure uh, acting upon you. And uh, in ultrasound applications, one can uh, also tune the pressure to such high levels that one can even at some point destroy tissue or um, get kidney stones to explode. The paper in the journal Nature shows how specially crafted three-dimensional plastic plates can be used in front of a speaker to create ultrasound fields that are a hundred times more complex than those produced with existing technology. So there are lots of algorithms that exist already for calculating fields from images. So you, you start with an image that you want to have, a three-dimensional image even, and you can calculate a hologram that is um, able to reconstruct this field. The researchers use the new method to control microparticles without the need to touch them directly. In this example, they forced microbeads suspended in water to create a dove of peace. Here they have suspended drops of liquid in the air. The prime innovation in the work really is that uh, although uh, holograms are really well known in optics, it doesn't seem that they have been demonstrated for acoustics. The authors suggest that the new approach could drive new applications in medicine and super resolution imaging. Uh, but it indeed is the case that ultrasound is used for a wide range of applications simple therapeutics, i.e. exposure to tissue, all the way to destroying a kidney stone in high-frequency uh, ultrasound. Uh, if in any of these applications it's useful to have a particularly shaped sound field, then we feel that the hologram uh, could be a, a rather simple way to achieve that.